Hey guys, welcome back to another BNSF 6951 video. Um, I've had a few questions on uh, my street lights, so I'm doing a short how-to video on uh, what I use and how I hooked up my uh, street lights. Um, uh, first of all, the street lights I use are incandescent bulbs and uh, I bought them quite a long time ago, probably about seven or eight years ago, and I bought them from Ashland Designs. Now I look to see, and uh, he doesn't have that particular kind of light anymore, but um, there are others available. Um, now because these are incandescent bulbs, they do not uh, have a polarity sensitive hookup. So you can hook them up any old way that you want. Now, I did do a uh, still picture of this wiring diagram. Um, that's it right there. But uh, there is a still picture at the end of the video. Um, so right now, I will show you uh, what I did and what I used. First of all, we all got these type of uh, transformers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, old cable boxes, uh, cell phone uh, chargers, anything that has them. And if you uh, look on the back, they usually have up here um, the input voltage and the output voltage. Um, so let me uh, show you on the layout and we'll try and get under the layout and show you how I hooked everything up. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back at the layout now and uh, turn on my lights. What do you think about that? Anyhow, as I mentioned earlier, that these are incandescent bulbs so the hookup doesn't really matter. But if you're using LED lights, um, you're going to have to be uh, polarity sensitive on it. Anyhow, when I first hooked these up, and like I said, I bought these probably, I'm thinking more like 10 years ago instead of 7 or 8. But anyhow, as I go from this side of the layout, all the way down the street here, to that side of the layout, I used a 12 volt, 1 amp output. Um, but, when I started hooking up this side, which was eight more lights, um, it was really taxing the power pack that I was using. So I boosted it up to a 15 volt 1 amp and it seems to be working just fine. But um, I still have to do this whole back section here and I think I'm going to use another power pack for that so I don't tax the one that's being used right now. I mean, there's 21 lights on one transformer right now and it seems to be working okay. So now, let me give you a shot of underneath the layout and I'll show you how I put things together and what's going on. Okay, so let me uh, scoot down here a little bit. And the first thing, as a temporary deal until I get my fascia board up, single pole Double, I mean single pole, single throw, toggle switch. Okay, and so now we'll get further under the layout. And uh, as you can see, I use a barrier strip. And uh, I got one leg of the power supply coming into it. And the other leg goes out to the uh, toggle switch and then comes back in to the other side of the barrier strip. Um, I ran a bus bus line around the entire layout. Get a zoom in on it. And uh, got some temporary hookups here. Um, they still need to be soldered and uh, uh, a little shrink tubing put on it. Um, anyhow, I'll show you the uh, power pack I'm using. And you guys can see that. It's 15 volt one app. Anyhow, um, we all got these things. If you want to go out to Radio Shack or something like that and buy those for anywhere from 8 to 12 bucks, be my guest. But, like I say, we all have some of these stashed away somewhere. 
Um, so, let me get back up here and we'll show you the top. Anyhow, um, I think the lights add a lot of detail and I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the way they look. And so for now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951 out.